Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Naquan Jordan, the AI protagonist, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a new update in Leonardo AI called Elements. Elements is a new feature that allows you to change the style of a particular image. You can mix and match the different styles in order to actually create your own styles. So I am working on some Japanese art right now. Uh, this is the prompt that I'm using. I can actually put this prompt in the description so you guys can use it yourself and play around with it. But if you use this prompt and you use the photo reel and the raw mode on, these are the type of images that you'll get with it. And what I want to do is I want to use elements to change the style of these, uh, these images. And so if I click on elements, we can see I have show compatible on. So this is only the elements that are compatible with the current model that I'm using. If I unclick that box, then it will show all the elements. And as you can see, these are just basically different styles that you can apply to uh, pretty much any generation that you're doing. I'm going to go ahead and click on the show compatible again. And the style that I want to try out, we'll start with this crystalline. So you can actually mix and match these. You can pick up to four of them. But I'm gonna start with just choosing one to see what that looks like. So I'll click on confirm and you can see it pops up right here and there is a weight for the actual style. You can turn it on and off with this button here. But I'm going to leave everything on default and then click generate so we can see four new images. All right, and here are the new images. So you can see it is a very, very different style, similar type of image, but a completely different style. You can actually see in some of them, like this actually has the crystalline look on the clothing of the character. What you're going to see with these is that it will change aspects of the clothing, change aspects of the background, but because of this model, the actual character itself will not change. It's going to be a realistic human, but everything else is going to have those characteristics of the particular element that I chose. And you can see this one actually added a little bit of a crystal up there and crystalline type clothing in the uh, the style of the clothing as well. So, oh, and actually I didn't even notice the background. There is a little bit of a crystalline style back there also. So that is basically what it does. We are going to try a different element this time. I want to go with, uh, let's go with this Inferno, which looks pretty cool. We'll see what that does with the next set of images. And here is the next set and once again it is similar type of image but in a completely different style. You can see it added a lot of infernal elements into the image itself. Uh, basically the same type of pose, same type of clothing, but now everything is red and there is some fiery, some fire and smoke elements in the image. And so you can see the uh, the type of images that you can create with these elements and how you can just have a little bit of fun playing around with the different styles. So we're going to try one more single element and then I'm going to start mixing them so we can see what that comes up with. Let's go with the, um, we'll go with the ivory and gold, see what that one looks like. And we'll create some more images with that. And here are the ivory and gold images, and these actually look really, really cool. I really like the way these came out. They look very good, obviously, just like the others. Similar type of image, but a different style. Lots of ivory. Oh man, this is beautiful. Just beautiful right here. Look at the clothing. Look at the outfit on her. Just incredible. I'm loving this style. It looks really good. I might actually just use this for normal stuff. So now let's start mix and matching some of these. So I am going to mix these two. I'll mix the um, the ivory and gold and the infernal and we'll see what that one looks like. So we have ivory and gold already selected. We're going to add the infernal to that. So now we have two styles together and let's see what that produces. 
and here are the new images and as you can see just like that I've pretty much created my own style it has the ivory and gold coloring but it has the detail of the infernal style and these look very very good look at the outfit on her my goodness that looks so good oh look this one oh, look at the detail in her uh, her clothing and this is, these are just incredible, incredible images. And so now let's have a little more fun. We're going to go full on. Um, actually, I didn't mean to hit generate. We're going to go full on and add four different styles. So we're going to add the ivory and gold, inferno. We'll go with glass, steel, and crystalline. So we got four different styles and we're going to see um, what exactly that creates okay so before these came up uh, the generation that I did earlier with the similar style to this one these came up and these actually look really good as well we can take a look at them once again a lot of detail incredible detail on the clothing for these I really really like this style this is a uh, new style that I just made up using elements which is really cool and wow so these came out kind of ridiculous as you can see um, I think we confused the AI with just too much awesomeness so putting four of them together it's not a thing yet it did show um, there was like a warning at the bottom Selecting more than two elements may have unexpected outcomes. Okay, we recommend only using low weight settings to improve the output. All right, so doing all four is not what we want to do. Maybe we can play with these weights a little bit. So let's move some of them down and see what happens when we play a little bit. Let's move the, uh, we'll move the ivory and gold up move the infernal down but not as much as the others and let's see what that does all right so these actually created some coherent images still pretty crazy but at least you can tell what it was trying to do in these while well, it just like her hands don't exist in these completely but the outfits look really good this might be good if you're trying to do like maybe a landscape or something like that. That might be something I'll try out. But as far as people, it's good with the face. Everything else gets a little crazy once you start using uh, more than one or two different styles. But it looks like just using the two works, uh, works really well. Using three or four might be a little too much for the AI. It might break it. I'm sure over time they will probably fix it so you can use four but for now we will stick to two so let's do one last generation and we will use two different we'll go with the pirate punk and let's go with tiki tiki and pirate punk we'll generate and see what that does and here are the results of Tiki and Pirate Punk. So it looks like it um, actually changed the ethnicity. That is a hard word for me to say. It actually changed it. So like it was the Asian. Now it looks a little bit more like an Islander type image. You can definitely see the, the Tiki styles, the actual wood carving type images. Um, I love what it did with the clothing. Completely changed the clothing changed the style of the image, created a completely different image. So good. This is a lot of fun to play around with. So, and once again, it's a great way just to create your own unique style, your own unique type of image, something that you won't see all over the internet. So that is uh, pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show this off just to show you guys um, this new feature and show you how much fun it is. So if you guys have any questions or anything you want me to try out, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.